Dum dum dum, da da dum dum da dum. Hello, everybody. I hope you're all having a wonderful holiday. Looking forward to the new year. Got a quick little video for you. Bobby, from Bobby's perspective, one of my favorite YouTube vegans. Probably because he doesn't run a strictly vegan channel. Go figure. Is questioning his religion. Bobby, that is. They all are. Just give them time. They all will. Whether they'll tell us about it, well, that's another story, isn't it? Anyway, a couple of people have come by my channel talking about Bobby, saying how. He's an example of how you could build muscle on the vegan diet and be healthy and all that other bull crap. Don't believe me? Well, go listen to what Bobby has to say. How difficult it is to build muscle on the vegan diet. He says he has. But if you look at pictures of him prior to going vegan, <laughs> he's much bigger. Oh. And he also admits to taking creatine, which naturally only happens in meat. Technically, I suppose it is vegan, but it ain't no diet to take creatine that only naturally occurs in meat. So no, you can't build muscle on a strict vegan, strictly vegan, just the vegan diet. You can't. Unless you're emaciated, well, maybe then you can, but come on. We're talking bodybuilder kind of muscle. It can't be done. No one's ever done it. That's why bodybuilders don't do it. What a fucking joke, man. Building muscle on a nutritionally deficient diet. What kind of fucking idiot do you have to be to believe the bullshit? I'm sorry, guys. Don't mean to be swearing on Jesus' birthday, but... <laughs> or was it yesterday? Yeah, like we really know. Anyway, Bobby, four years vegan. Go check out this video entitled, How Do I Really Feel as a Vegan? He'll tell you how he really feels as a vegan. How his body, or was it mushrooms? Magic mushrooms are telling him to eat eggs. Hilarious. I was listening to that vegan couple and they were essentially saying that if your body is telling you to eat meat or animal products, what it's really telling you is to eat kale. <laughs> couple of fucking retards. How can you just keep doing this? How can you keep lying to everybody, especially yourself? Anyway, Bobby's suffering, yo. Could have predicted that one. Look, dude, I don't know if he's listening or not, but you got to do what's right for you, man. And you know what's right for you? Raw meat. The guy's fucking Macedonian. <laughs> you go Slav. Gee, I wonder what they've been eating historically. I wonder. It ain't tofu, bananas, or durian, my Slavic brother. Shape up. Anyway, you know, I made a video about Bobby's ideology a while back, and the one thing that struck me as very self-refuting, contradictory, and, well, hypocritical, was the following. And a lot of vegans exhibit this sort of thinking. They betray the fact that they have this inherent contradiction in their ideology, right? Basically, he has a channel pushing, promoting the vegan diet, or at least used to, talking about how right, correct, and healthful it is, right? 
while at the same time admitting to taking psychedelics and other drugs because they're medicines, because they're healing, right? Because they're, well, because he's sick. That was my conclusion anyway. Well, I don't mean to be stroking my you-know-what. It's not about that. I just happen to have this belief, very strong belief, based in science, that most people ain't cut out for the vegan diet. And if they're telling me they're healthy, but at the same time admitting to taking all kinds of medicines, go listen to how many supplements he was taking, all kinds of stuff. So if you got all these vegans out there, fasting, healing, always talking about healing, what the fuck does that tell you? It, this ain't rocket science, guys. I'm not genius. I'm just keeping it real, especially with myself. If you got all these vegans like Bobby telling you that veganism is helpful, why the fuck are they taking all these medicines? Why the fuck are they always trying to heal? Start making sense, people. Shape up. Happy holidays. Thanks for listening.